at the 2016 PRI show, and we're in the Forge Line booth with David Shart, and uh, he's got some new products that they just introduced here for this show. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, the first wheel is the ML3, and it has uh, a, a lot of characteristics in, in, of the old Trans Am mini light wheels of the 60s and 70s. Uh, it's got 10 spokes instead of eight, but they're rounded on the top, and, and, and it has that almost cast wheel look, but it's a forged wheel. It has all the great characteristics of our typical forged line wheels. Also, you got an open lug look that everybody likes. What about yeah, that? On the, on the GS1 and GA1R race wheels that we make, everybody really likes that open lug area. So we decided to take a couple of our three-piece race wheels and do that open lug treatment as well. One of them, is this one, which I really like, I thought it turned out great, is the GX3R. And we're doing, obviously, the GA3R, which is the most popular wheel. And this five-spoke is actually a new race wheel as well. Um, it's, it's a five-spoke, but it has the same load ratings as our race wheel does because some people wanted a simpler look. It's also available in this open lug treatment. I get a question a lot on the internet. Guys are asking me, what kind of offset are you running on your Z28 Camaro? And um, I tell them to call Forge Line because you're going to give them the best answer. Right. And, and so tell us a little bit about that. Talk about backspacing, talk about offsets, and, and what's the difference in all that? Yeah, backspacing is easy if you use backspacing all the time, but, but most wheel companies use offset. Um, backspacing is measured from the very, very back edge of the rim. You lay a, like a ruler over the back, back edge of the rim, and you measure down to the back side of the pad. That, that'll give you the backspacing. Offset is actually the, the, the measurement of how far the center is in front of front the- Front or back. Yeah are in back. So to, to measure that, you would have to, you would, you would, you would take the, uh, the full width of the wheel, which is going to be an inch wider than it normally would be. So this is an 11 inch wheel for the tire. It would be 12 inches. And then you'd measure the back space and subtract those two numbers. And the difference would be the offset and convert it to millimeters. Uh huh. Because we're always trying to stuff bigger tires underneath these right. cars, yep. especially the pro touring cars. And how much flare do we have to, to run? So we're always trying to figure that out because it's, it's tough, man, because these wheels are real expensive and you're, you're kind of rolling the dice if you really don't know what you're doing, you right. know? So right. you're trying to get a good idea. Even having to go buy the tire and kind of mock something up, you still really don't know what you should be buying. So the best thing to do is call these guys at Forge Line and they'll lead you in the right direction. Yep, and we can give you some uh, tips that we've had and some things that we've learned on how to measure that stuff a little more accurately as well. One of the reasons we run Forge Line is because, you know, they look great, but you know, we, we run them on the street, but we also run them on the track. So tell me a little bit about the benefits of, of running a Forge Line uh, in terms of manufacturing and also strength. Yeah, I mean, almost everything we do, it's it's a forged product as opposed to to a cast product. So you get two benefits. One of the benefits is it's lighter, and it's generally lighter because you can use less material. It's a denser material. It, it has radial grain flow. There's not a bunch of porosity in it, so we can lighten the wheel by making things a little bit thinner, especially in the barrel type area. Um, it it cast wheels under pressure or under impact like to like to to crack or even sometimes come apart totally. You see like a not, not you know, almost a catastrophic failure, where a forged one won't do that. It'll it'll bend, it'll it'll slightly crack and lose air. So you know, if you got into some something serious, you're going to have a lot less failure mode in, in that degree. Um, but what most people don't, and I think we've talked about this before, when you put race tires on your car, you you decrease the load rating of that wheel considerably. Sometimes because it has more grip. Has more grip, right? So you're putting that load rating on your wheel is based on a tire grip level of 0.7. Well, you know, super sports will, super sports will pull 1.2. <laughs> so that's almost twice as much. Yeah. So you're almost cutting the load rating of that particular wheel in half. So our race wheels are load rated at 2,100 pounds, which is well over anything that you're racing on. Yeah, you know, you have to remember that too, is, you know, I race in the Optimus Search for the Ultimate Street Car, and we run a 200 treadwear tire. Now that's not regulated by the government or anything. That's just an right. industry rated tire, 200 treadwear. And I'll guarantee you, there's some tires out there that are really sticky and really put up some uh, strong. Jeez, you know, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, right. so, you know, if you go out there and you buy a cheaper wheel and, um, and it comes apart on you, 
that's the reason why. Racing in general, whether it's professional racing or whether it's the, where the Optima guys or, the, or the, even the pro touring cars, you, you know, that, that, that Z28, that's, a, that's not a light car. Yeah, that's a heavy, <laughs> so, that's a big beast. So, you know, it has really <laughs> wide wheels and aerodynamics and all that kind of stuff, so the kind of stress that those kind of cars put on our wheels is a great testing ground for us, yeah. absolutely. You know, and I'll tell you, we've been running them for three years, and we haven't even got a scratch on those wheels. Yeah, They're really strong. You, you haven't bent any, right? Nothing. Yeah, fantastic. I, now, the only thing I bent was when we hit a, a guardrail, and well, you know, <laughs> I hey, I can't help you there. there's only so much you can do. <laughs> <That's right. laughs>